Hey guys, this is Eric the Hysteric, and welcome to my little giant friend who's wanting to chop my lady face off. Luckily, I'm single player and playing God Mode. How today I pull you aside to look at my Mosa battle tank? Yes, the MRX plants on it. I have found ways to make sure platforms and stuff stay watered on these. What you would do... You shut up, Giga, for a moment! Ugh, moist food source. Um, you would put a water tap over top of the platform. Or if you want to do this on a Quetzal, I'm going to try making a video later on with a Quetzal uh, ship that can destroy Gigas. Because I found a way for your Mosa if you have one. Because these things are extremely hard teams. They required me to sit down there for about 40 minutes to an hour. It's according to what level you get. I got a level 30 in the real game. Um, They have a high health pool. Mine came out of like 9,000 almost, well, 7,400 to be exact, and 83. And it can, I've, on the real server, I have it up to 20k almost. And it's only like five levels in. That thing over there has only got 42,000 health. Now, let me turn this up because nobody's going to see crap. I changed it to him to be max. So if he, this thing does bite it, we don't just get a video of me dying and a horrible death and the Mosa dying. But what I'm here to show you is... If you attack this thing, it's the water guy. Say someone in your server, is your, or your tribe, and you want this thing dead because it's a wild one. It's kicking your ass totally. Uh, you can actually swim over to your Mosa, get on it, have somebody lure him over with a Petrodon or an Agent. I would say an Agent because they have a higher health pool. Because I've noticed with a Petrodon, one bite will probably kill it. And then you're going to be fucked because you're going to land and he'll squish you into a tiny little bits of jibble. Because uh, these things are extremely high to the wild. So I would say best if you're near the mountain, lure it off the mountain. And lure it to the water so you can kill it. Let me get over here, I'll show you. I got flippers on so this thing shouldn't take a oh crap. This is not what I wanted. See, this is what I was worried about. He's going to get bit. Now what you would do, unless your game freezes like mine just did, uh, okay. what you'll do is see how I'm luring him. The plants will continually shoot him. It'll push him back a little bit, but here's where it gets funny. Unless he wants to be a jerk and go after my other stuff, which he's going to kill it instantly if he does. Um, maybe he does want to be a total complete jerk and go out of your distance range, which is different than what he wanted to do yesterday. I mean, you mean peon? Now yeah, watch my other Giga get killed. It's Giga Battle. This was not what I wanted. He wanted to go after my test Giga. Well, we're going to watch one Giga get destroyed by another Giga. And also, this thing is like the complete battle tank for under the water. Excuse me for the blinding. I'm trying to lure this guy over. And I'm going to have to watch him get killed, probably. This is just like last time. Bye bye, Giga. What level Giga is that? Yep, he just went rage and squish. Okay. Okay. Alright, so that you're actually paying attention to me now. Took you long enough. Now, of course, that's exactly what you don't want to have happen. Now, you angle your... This is... Now, normally you'd want your butt facing him. Because he's going to bite into me right now. And there goes all my explants. Son of a biscuit. That was not what I wanted. I still have fertilizer in there. Alright, I was I was prepared for this. I'm sorry about that, guys. Stuff never goes the way I ever want it. You can make sure he does not bite them. Once he does, you're just screwed. You're going to be down here, and you're going to look like an idiot. Is 
Example A, he's gonna bite your explant, you're not gonna have an explant, and he's just gonna go, hi, I just kicked your ass. And as you can see, explants have a high amount of health, actually. And he just bit through them in one shot. Now, because he did that, I have to rebuild this. Now, I'm using a explant from the server, I think it's called 391 on the item list. And you don't have to worry about being killed or anything because they're instant grow as you're seeing. Now, because they're instant grow, I don't have to wait for them to grow and everything, so he can sit on the shore and wait on a minute or two. You always want to make sure your plants are changed to high because these things are not going to be able to reach him otherwise. You're going to look like an idiot and get killed, probably. For example, he's going to bite your roof, and there goes all your crap. i to wait for these last two to grow. Where is he at? Terrorizing everything else? Where'd he go? I know he didn't die or despawn. Where the hell did Godzilla go running off to? He need to go around the corner? Well, that's never good. Well, apparently I'm a single player and I have a wild giga just running around like a crazy bastard. Alright, now that we got that out of the way. I don't know where the thing ran off to, but hey, whatever. Unless it just magically decided to die in the water. Alright. Well, we'll do the only logical thing possible. Respawn another gig app. I am trying to show you guys. I am horribly sorry about that crap. For God's sakes, you stupid giga, you couldn't stand on the shore for five minutes. I don't know what you're killing, but you're probably killing something of mine. There. Summon the giga. Run away from the... Swim! Swim, you fat bastard! Woo! I'm glad I have cheat god mode on. I'd be dead already. That's why I said lower it. Alright, now he's interested in me. No, no, don't bite my stupid ship. Alright. This did not work like this yesterday. Because I tested this yesterday. Alright, there he goes, now he goes, there he goes. And not shoot him, shoot him! There we go. Piss him off. Excuse me. Excuse me about that. Alright. Stupid people calling me always when I'm on YouTube. Now, oh man, he bit several of them. Alright, you want to make sure you're low enough where he can't bite your explants. You want to make sure you're below him. Now, since these are explants, oops, oops, shoot. Oh. Is it actually close enough for he's biting stuff? Okay. Uh, you can actually go pretty low. Think about that far is where you can go. Now, if you're feeling devious, you can actually swim a little closer. You make sure your battle tank is below. Oh, that is dark. I am horribly sorry about the gamma on this guy's like it is being a pain in the butt now he will not go below where he is right now where he is is where his absolute limit is he cannot dive like whatsoever so if your explant thing is below water and you're below far enough he'll just swim around like that the entire time watching you now like I said before you would lure it with your explant thing Instead of being a crazy person like I was and going right next to him. I have tribe mates, but I didn't regardably you didn't have anybody that could join me to show you this this. The explants on here make it look right. This is easily one of the ways you can kill a giga. I guess he's not out of range. 
Now, I will say it's going to take you about 5 to 10 minutes to kill this thing. It does take an extremely long time. Because when anybody that knocks him out, you'll actually see he has 300,000 health wild. It, it is not kidding. I have seen it. I have knocked one out that went after a base. God forbid the poor person's base. It killed his half his base. I knocked it out. I was able to tame it. Oh, yeah, you're going to kill that alligator. Buddy. Make it one on like it's nothing. And... He was only at... He took on eight Rexes, two Brontos... And a whole lot of other crap. And barely took 3,000 damage. Now, you can sit down here for the 10 minutes and just kill him constantly. But, from what I can tell, this is the most effective other than having an X platform. Now, I mean, sorry, air platform. I want somebody has an X wing on my server of a Quetzal. That has x plants inside of it, which looks really cool. Now, it's going to take me about 10 minutes to kill them. Because they can't die in swimming now. There's no way you can kill them by swimming. I don't care what anybody says. You can drown them. Such and such. You can't. I would say if you want to make an optimal area, put x plants on a Quetzal. Just have it stand underneath the irrigation thing. Grow your x plants fly above one. Now since you're on a platform, you can just sit on top of it while you lose stamina. Or sit on it or whatever, but you can put E, stand on your platform, make sure he's on passive, because if he's on neutral, your Quetzal or anything he's going to go after, it's going to immediately go down there and try killing you. So put it on passive, fly over to the Giga, have your X-Plants attack it, make sure the range is on high so he doesn't have enough range to bite. These things like jumping, off rocks, mountains, whatever, and attacking your guy. And I don't recommend ever, ever doing this solo with Amosa. If you're going to do this, do it with a Quetzal. You're going to be a lot safer. You're going to not worry so much. See, as you can see, he's already taking damage. He's got blood right now. And he still can't attack you. I mean, if you do it the way I'm saying with the Q-Bird, you're going to be great. But make sure... I'm not even going to say this three more times. He's on passive. Your Quetzal must be on passive. If you have him on anything else, if you're not controlling him so you get off to make him get more stamina back, you're going to die. Your Quetzal's going to die. You're going to be very upset. And you're going to be toast. Now, I'm doing this on the main server. I'm going to eventually build a platform like this with some X-Plants. Not this many, probably about five. because It takes a lot of fertilizer. Now, some people could be more. Um, because the terrors of the deep. I'm not really just thinking to destroy anything that comes near you, anything that you want to kill, anything else. But you're not going to have the issue of worrying about a Giga anymore if you do this with a teammate. Now, you could double team it. You could do a Quetzal with a Giga platform with your X-Plants, lure it over to the water, have the Mosa sitting in the water with the X-Plants on it, somebody else controlling it in your tribe. Double team the hell out of the damn thing! Nothing could kill you, then. But this is the only surefire way I've found to kill one. Other than the, the Q-Bird, you know, the Quetzal I was going to show you guys later in a video. Because these things are just OP in the game. Like, I've seen them break through metal behemoth gates, everything else. Like I said, this is going to be a 10 minute battle. I have officially tamed Amosa on the real server, which took me a little while. As you can see, he just wants to bite in my needle button. Sorry about that. Alright. Well, that's the end of this video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.